Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys a quick little energy check. We're going to tap into your person's energy, see what they're currently thinking about you, see what's going on with them, the person that you're thinking about, the person you want to communicate with, the person you want reconciliation with. We're going to tap into the energy and see what's up, what's going on with them today. All right, guys, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, click on that notification bell below so you can get notified when I post new readings. If you're a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. All right, as we all know, guys, my readings are meant to be timeless readings. So when you are meant to hear it, uh, when you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender entailed, so please reverse the roles as need be. By these uh, readings being a general love reading, they may or may not resonate with you. So please take what does and leave the rest behind. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with Aries all the way through Pisces. And like I mentioned previously, we're gonna I'm going to have all the timestamps below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. See what's going on with your person. All righty, Aries, let's go ahead and see what's going on with your person. What is this person thinking about? You? Aries, the person that you're currently thinking about. The person you want to communicate with the person that you possibly want reconciliation with what is this person's energy today what's going on with them what are they thinking about in regards to aries this is for aries sun moon rising and venus signs what is this person's current feelings towards you universe what's their current feelings towards aries here yeah. knight of swords this person has an urge to come in they have an urge to come in and communicate with you with this knight of swords Let's see. What else in the verse? With the world. I feel that this person has the urge to come in and communicate with you in the world part here. <clears throat> They're tired of being alone without you. They're tired of not communicating with you. They're tired of... They're just tired of being alone, I feel. This person sees you... Let's see here. With the world, they see you as this independent, sexy person that has everything going for them. And they feel that without you, this person is this frivolous little old hermit that no one's paying attention to. That no one is um, even minding what in the world is going on with him or her. And this person wants to come in and communicate because they want to be back in your circle. They want to be back in your attention span here. Okay. How does this person see Aries, universe? How does this person see Aries? As the queen of coins, you have a lot going for you right now. You're stable. You're you're handling your business. If you have a family, you're taking care of your kids. You're doing you. You're minding whatever in the world is going on around you. You're taking care of yourself and letting everybody else handle their own business. You have not put any energy or any attention towards this person for a while now. This is what's got this person all turned upside down here with the hermit. Got them feeling alone, got them feeling lost. Because with the hermit, nine times out of ten, when you're in hermit mode, you go within to try to seek some type of healing, some type of revelation. And here, this person feels lost and alone in the world without you. But you, on the other hand, this person sees you as a very stable person, got their shit going for them, doing their thing. With the two of staffs here, you're 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 on the right path in regards to you. You're on the right path doing what you gotta do. What's the action this person is going to take towards you, Aries? The five of coins. This person wants to come in from out of the cold. This person doesn't want to be left out anymore. This person wants to be part of your life. This person wants to come back in. <clears throat> With the judgment, this person knows that they have to come in and they have to speak the truth. They have a lot of things to clarify here, but they're not sure if you're going to want to accept them again. They're not sure if you're going to allow them to come in. And attempt his reconciliation. This person is really praying. This person is... I, I don't know why I get this image of this person that they they just go to work, come home, go to work, come home. Like, their life really isn't much going on without you. Like, they're alone. They feel like they, they have nothing going on without you. And this person is, is really praying to get out of that energy, to get out of that situation. They want to go back towards you. They, and they, at times, sometimes they just feel like this anxiety over them that I want to just rush in and go speak to my Aries. But then something holds them back because, you know, they know they've done wrong by you. Yep, this person is definitely having sleepless nights here with the Nine of Swords. This person isn't sleeping, right? They, they're, 
you're always in their mind. You're always, there's something about you that always triggers them. It could be a car, it could be a song, it could be a smell, whatever. But this person is constantly forever thinking about you day and night. What is the possible outcome in this, <clears throat> in this connection here, universe? What is the possible outcome here for Aries and their person? There's still some indecision here with the two of coins. I feel that if this person does decide to reach out to you and speak with you, you're going to be very indecisive because Aries, you have you have taken the, the reins of your throne. You have, you have decided to do you with or without this person. You're going to make it happen for you and the family. You're not holding back. You're on the path of success. And when this person comes in and they try to communicate, give me a chance. I want to speak the truth. You're going to be juggling. You're not going to be sure. I highly doubt you're going to give this person an answer right away. It's going to be a while before you give this person any type of answers here. But this person wants to come in and heal this with the star. They definitely want to come in and heal this connection. It's just like I said, everything is still up in the air and this person feels incomplete without you but then they're scared to come in because they're scared that you're not going to accept an apology you're not going to accept a, an explanation this person is really stuck in their head about the situation um this person all they do is think about you all day and all night okay so i'm not sure if this person's going to reach out let's see here is this person going to reach out to aries anytime soon universe with the Knight of Swords, I feel that they are going to reach out here. They will be reaching out. They're going to want to communicate with you. But they're definitely thinking. They've gotten enlightened here in regards to this connection. Six of coin. Definitely, they're going to reach out. They're going to want to They're gonna want to balance the scales out with you, okay? This person will be reaching out when I'm not sure this can happen. You know, time is fluid, so we don't know when things can happen. It might have happened currently happening. I'm getting ready to happen. But expect some form of communication from this person once they feel a little bit balanced out because they're definitely wanting to come in and heal this connection Alrighty, aries i hope this resonates for you guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next one Bye. hey taurus welcome back to the channel let's go ahead and tap into your person's energy the person that you are currently thinking about the person that you want to communicate with the person you want to reconcile with what are they thinking about you right now what is this person thinking about what is this person's possible next move like? what's going on with this person here Alrighty, universe, let's see. What is this person's feelings towards Taurus at the moment? What's going on with this person's feelings towards Taurus? They're coming out of this anxiety mode. This person was having a lot of sleepless nights because of you. They, they were just up at night just thinking and thinking and thinking about the past mistakes of the past situation. What else, universe? This person is ready to end what no longer serves them with the death here. They're ready to, to leave behind what no longer serves them. They're ready to move on into a possible new beginning. They're, re they're ready to release. They're releasing everything that no longer serves them. People, places, or things that no longer serve them. They're ready to release this. What else? Here? What else is this person feeling towards Aries? The tower moment. They know once this decision has been voiced once this decision has been told to you it's going to cause a tower moment there's going to be a lot of things that this person is he or she is going to shock a lot of people because you you thought that this person was never going to release that old ex-best friend that or that old best friend that's going to soon become an ex-best friend um that usually swindle them to go out and go drinking go partying like this person is releasing that and the people that are going to start being cut off are going to see this as a tower moment they're going to see this as a tower moment but this tower moment is going to serve you guys because it's shaking up the foundation in your connection to be able to have a more stable foundation this person has come to terms with things that they have to get rid of in order to come back with you in order to try to fix this connection with you okay how does this person see Taurus, universe? How does this person see Taurus? Sorry, guys, I have to turn my computer on. How does this person see Taurus? They see you stuck. You ain't moving nowhere. You ain't trying to make no, no type of moves. Okay. You're kind of just like stuck there because of the situation. They feel like you're... You're not going to budge. You're not going to budge. Something is holding you back. Maybe some form of transportation. I don't know. But you ain't going nowhere, okay? You're, you're just stuck there. You're doing what you got to do. And you're not even putting any effort into trying to, to fix this, okay? This person knows 
and feels that there's something here that they have to make a decision about. And that's removing people from this connection, okay? They have to make that decision. They're at a crossroads. This person is definitely at a crossroads. Decisions are being made. What is no longer serving him or her? And they're 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 moving it because you won't, you're not going to move towards them one bit until all these negative things have been removed. Until all these things that no longer serve you or serve them is removed, you're not budging. You're 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 sta standing firm on your decision. I am not going to go towards you until you get rid of that friend. I am not going to go towards you until you stop drinking. I am not going to go towards you until you stop partying. I am not going to go towards you. And this person is at a crossroad making these decisions, making the making plans to get rid of what doesn't serve them. You ain't budging. You are not budging, Taurus. You are as stubborn as they come. You are not budging. Let's see here. What is the possible outcome here between you and this person? Possible outcome. What is the possible outcome in this upcoming days for you and this person? Reunion. I feel that you guys are going to come back into some form of communication. This person will be reaching out for some form of reunion. Um, this person sees you as their soulmate. They have a lot of love for you and they want to come back into union with you. So definitely this person is making these decisions. You're not even aware of the decisions that this person is making, how he or she, their world is being shooken up by these decisions. But they know that you're stubborn as hell, so you ain't moving nowhere. So they know they had to make this decision in order to have the person that they're in love with, which is you. So yep, this person's coming back for a reunion. They're coming back for a reunion. They know that you're their soulmate and they want to be with you. All right. Okay, guys, I hope this resonates for you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. Hey, Gemini. Welcome back to the channel. Let's see here what's going on here. What's going on with the person that you're currently thinking about? The person you want reconciliation with? <clears throat> the person you want a communication with? What's going on with them right now? What are they thinking? What are their feelings about this? Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Total, total reconciliation. This person wants to reconcile. This person sees you as their soulmate. They want reconciliation. They want to be with you. This person wants to bring this connection back. Let's see here. What else are they thinking about? Feeling about the situation? How are they feeling about the situation? You might be dealing with a Taurus because Taurus had those same two cards um, back to back. First the chariot, then the two of cups. Um, this person wants to come towards you they want to come towards you but something's holding them back they want the reconciliation with you but something's holding them back to come back towards you what is holding this person back with the chariot in the reverse what is holding this person back the offer that they're going to make i feel that this person right now doesn't have much to offer to you they want to be with you. They want to come back towards you. They want this reconciliation. But what's holding them back is something financial. This person is dealing with some financial stability, some form of, of stability. Something's going on with them financially. And they feel like the offer they're going to make to you, you might not accept it. And also, I feel that this person has been probably financially struggling now for a while with this night, with this night of coins, because the night of coins is a very slow moving energy, and they have probably been struggling financially for a while now. So they feel like they're not going to have much to offer. Okay, how does this person see you, Gemini? How does this person see you? How does this person see Gemini? Ten of staffs. You drop this. They feel like you have dropped this connection, like you no longer want to deal with this connection. To you, it's a burdening connection. They feel like you have given, totally given up on this. You have dropped the burdens. Like dealing with this person and the financial situation has been very burdensome for you, so you have dropped it. How else? What else do they, how, how do they still see this person? How does Gemini see them? Or how does Gemini's person see them? Justice. What else? On the moon. I feel that um, Gemini, you you might have been okay. You told this person something. 
something came out to the light with the moon. And I feel that you were already fed up with all the debt. You were fed up with all that penny pinching mode that you guys had to go through. There was something going on here. And you and you told them, you spoke your truth. You, you told them, this isn't working now. Financially, we're struggling too much. We're going to lose the house. We're going to do this. Something's going to happen here, okay? And they feel like you have given up on them. Once you said that, like you gave up on this connection. What is the possible outcome here? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's coming out of this. This anxiety that they've been going through. And they're ready to heal this. Gemini, um, if you told this person something that was harsh, this is you coming in to heal it. This is you having to heal this with this person. If this person was harsh towards you because of the revelation and what you told them, they're coming in here to heal it. Okay? There's some things I feel it's from both of you guys. The, 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 the reason for the separation was because it came from both of you guys. From whatever it is that you guys spoke, whatever it is that you guys said in regards to this financial situation. Um... It was harsh words, but it was the truth, okay? I feel that you. this was bubbling up between both of you guys, and finally the truth came out. The truth came out, and everything was dropped. And it's time to start healing. It's time to start healing all this anxiety, all these things that you guys were going through due to that situation. It's time to start healing it, okay? It's time to leave the old in the past and move forward with a new beginning. So I feel like you guys both will have to come together and communicate with each other, okay? There's things like you guys were able to speak to each other in regards to the financial struggles and the connection. You guys are going to have to be able to come together and, and, and converse what are the next steps to get ourselves out of this situation is what I feel. This is this is um this is a soulmate. You guys are meant to be together. This is this is a working couple, except that I feel that somebody just felt so burdened with all the problems that they were like, What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Like we're stuck, we don't have money, we don't have this, somebody lost their job, like just everything went haywire. Everything is haywire right now, okay? With the whole situation in the in the in the world. But it's time for you guys to start speaking it like speaking to each other and, and starting to clear up things already releasing releasing the old allowing the new start healing this connection all right okay gemini i hope this resonates for you guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe talk to you later bye hey cancer welcome back let's get started here let's see what's going on with the person you're currently thinking about the person you want communication with the person uh, you possibly want to reconcile with. Let's see what's going on with this person. What is this person thinking about this connection? What is this person currently thinking about in regards to this connection? Page of Swords in reverse. This, their thoughts are still cloudy regarding this connection. They know that this is done. This is it not. This is not done yet. But they're still they're still confused in regards to this connection with the page of swords in the reverse. There's still a lot of confusion. They know that they still have to come back and clear up things, but there's still a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion I feel with this page of swords, because generally when the page of swords is in the upright, they're spying. They're 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 trying to figure out what's going on with you. And in this sense, they they don't even they're not even doing that. They're just trying to. Fit. They know that this isn't done. They're just kind of like not even thinking about it i feel i keep on hearing confusion i don't know why confusion let's see what else here the four swords here um this person needs time they still need time to think they need time to clear up stuff this person knows that this connection is far from done but they still need to, they kind of need to pull back for a minute right now. They need to disconnect totally from this connection right now because they still need to gather their thoughts. This person needs some time to rest and rejuvenate, come back refreshed in order to be able to communicate with, with you in this connection, okay? This person sees you, uh, you're the, they feel that you're their will of fortune. You're their good luck charm. This person knows that you guys are destined to be together. They know that you guys are destined to be together, but this person feels like they they don't have enough to give you with this nine of coins. Like something is missing. This person's energy is not in this connection right now. 
their head is everywhere. There's something else going on in this person's world right now that has taken his or her attention, and they have to focus on that right now. That's why they're pulling away from you. They're, they know they want to be with you. They know they're destined to be with you, but right now their focus is else, elsewhere. They know that they can't give you the time or place right now because they have to figure out some other things here. This is going to cause a tower moment between you guys. Obviously, what you're going through right now, there's separation between you and this person. This is going to be a shocker for you. But keep in mind, this person is pulling back because at the end of the day, they know they're not done with you. They know they're destined to be with you. But they just got to work some things out. And this tower moment is to bring this connection back on, stronger, on a stronger ground. You know what I mean? They're trying to, to get rid of whatever no longer serves them so they can, at that point, commit to you 100%. I feel that this person is uh, ending another situation right now, possibly going through divorce, but that is causing them a lot of turmoil and heartache right now. That's what has pushed them to pull away from you for the time being here. Um, what is the action that this person is going to take towards you in the near future? The Ten of Coins. In the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse and the devil. This person knows that there's a lot of things that still have to change here. So they they don't have much to offer you at the moment right now. There's nothing they're not gonna be coming towards you right now at this time because they they can't offer you love right now because they're still dealing with everything that's going on in that old home with the person that they're probably in the middle of getting a divorce with. They're still trying to uh, settle those things out with that, with that person and they can't dedicate time to you right now because this person is giving them a hard time. They have to figure this out first before they move forward towards you, okay? What's the possible outcome here between, between uh, cancer and their person? What is the possible outcome here? There's going to be victory here, but this person is releasing the past right now. This person is getting a divorce. This is what I'm actually getting right now. This person is have is in a, was in a higher level of commitment. They're currently getting detached from this higher level of commitment. They're trying to leave the past in the past. And there's going to be victory here for you and this person. You just have to be patient. I hear a lot of patience right now. Your person is trying to be very clear what their next moves are currently right now. They're not trying to drop the ball, okay? They want to come back towards you. They know that, that this connection with you is not done they don't want it to be done because they feel like you are the person that they're destined to be with but unfortunately you came at the time when all of this was going on so right now they have to put you on the back burner to deal with this to be able to move on and having a life with you okay all right guys i hope this resonates for you please don't forget to like share subscribe see you in the next one Bye. hey leo welcome back to the channel Thank you for joining me. This is your timestamp. Let's see what your person is currently thinking. The person you want to communicate with, the person you want the communication. What are they thinking about this connection with you? What is this person? What is this person's current feelings towards this connection with you right now? They definitely want a new beginning. They want a new beginning in love. This person wants to come back around and offer you their heart. Okay. They want a new beginning with you. They know at the bottom of the deck there's some healing that needs to occur in this connection, but definitely they want a new beginning with you. Let's see what else is going on with Leo here. Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on with Leo? The person is scared of you. King of Swords. Your person feels like if they come back to make you this offer for a new beginning with in love, you're going to curse them out. You're going to tell them, hell no. You ain't going to deal with this. Whatever this person has done to you, they're scared that you're just going to cut them off. How does this person see you right now? How does this person currently see you? They feel like you've given up on the connection. They feel like you've given up on this connection and you moved on. You're doing you. They feel that you you don't see any you, you don't see no happiness with this person. You don't you don't feel fulfilled with this person. This is how they see you right now. With the tower moment here, with I'm sorry. I do have the tower moment here though. Okay, but sorry. With the wheel of fortune here, this person feels like it's destined to be with you. It's destined to be with you, but because you don't see happiness with them, you have given up on the connection. They feel like this is a tower moment. They feel like they've lost you forever, but they want a new beginning. They want a new beginning in love. They're just scared of you. I don't know, Leo. You might have to make the first move here and uh, communicate to this person that you actually do want to be with them. Who knows? What is the possible outcome here with Leo and this person, universe? 
five of swords you guys have to put the past bickery the past che cheating the bad the past deception behind you release that let it go let it go if you want this connection to come through let it go if you want this connection to work out you got to let those things go already it is what it is it's something from the past yep this has you guys stuck it has you stuck right now those, those things that happened in the past has you stuck here with the nine of coins this person feels like um you might be seeking you might be speaking to other people right now like because you haven't been communicating with them generally the nine of coins in the upright this person is um single ready to mingle in a good place you know financially stable comfortable with their you know within their within their body they're good with what's going on with it they're pre-empress but in the reverse here you're not single you're not available and this is what this person sees you that you're not available because I, I don't know maybe in social media you're portraying something else they're seeing you going out having fun partying putting up all these pictures so they feel like you're dating somebody else okay they might think that you're looking you're you're out and about doing you and this is why you're not trying to come towards them and this is what got this connection stuck with the chariot in the reverse like because of the past situation because of the past stuff this person put you through you're not moving towards them they're not moving towards you because they think you're no longer single they think that you're you went about your business you've done your own thing okay they do want a new beginning with you but whatever you're showing and demonstrating they're feeling that you're not single and whatever they've done to you you're not releasing that's why both of you guys are stuck in the middle here you guys are stuck so i don't know somebody here's gonna have to break the ice somebody's gonna have to break the ice to be in communication here let's see what's going on here What's the next move here? What is the next move here for Leo and their person? What is the next move here? Oh, okay. Yep, somebody's going to have to communicate the love. Somebody's going to have actually have to come through and communicate the love. With the strength in the reverse, somebody's going to have to let go of all their bitterness, let go of everything, humbleize yourself a little bit, and come and communicate. Either you, Leo, and I feel it's going to be you, Leo, that are probably going to have to put your guard down. Because you're the one that's um, portraying to be single and happy and all about, you know, doing you. And unless this person hears that you're you're available, they're just going to not come towards you. They're not going to come towards you. So I feel, Leo, that you might have to be the one to reach out and communicate to this person that you are single and you are available and you would like to conversate. Okay? All right, guys. I hope this resonates for you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. Alrighty, Virgo, let's see what's going on here with you, Virgo. What's going on with Virgo's person? The person Virgo wants to communicate, the person Virgo wants reconciliation with. What's going on with this person? What do they think in regards to this connection? What are they thinking? What is this person's feelings towards this connection? They know that they have to heal. Something has to be healed in this connection. Definitely healing has to commence in this connection in order to revive it. Let's see what else. What else is this person's thoughts in regards to this connection? You guys have to heal. I feel that this person has pulled away of you, pulled away. Both of you guys are pulling away right now because it's time to heal yourself. It's time for you guys to rest and rejuvenate from this connection. There's been a lot going on here with you guys that has caused the separation, okay? There's a lot going on in the world right now that a lot of people are currently separating the, uh, separating due to due to the pandemic. And this is, I think that this is what's going on with you. <laughs> you guys spend so much time together, so it's time to pull away for a bit here. Let's see here. This person has a lot of love for you. They love you. They're in love with you. They, they're in love with you. They see you as, you know, if you're married to them, they see you as a loving wife, a, a faithful, loving wife. They see this with you, but there's there's some healing that has to occur here. Some things have happened between you and this person, and it's time to pull back. It's time to rest here. How does this person, um, what is this person's action towards you? What is the, the action that this person is going to take towards you? Because they see you with a lot of love. They have a lot of love for you. Now I want to know their actions here. Yep, this person is trying to heal this Ten of Swords. I feel that there's been a lot of bickering with you and this person. They're going to want to put the work in this connection most definitely here. They're going to want a new beginning with you. They're going to want to heal this with you. With the Eight of Cups, this person feels like they might be losing you. But truth be told, this person wants to work on this connection. They feel like they might have lost you. Like you possibly even walked away or moved out of the home. But this person wants to try to reconcile and fix this with you. I think that this person wants 
wants to put the work back into this connection but there's a lot that's been going on within these past couple of months i'm saying within a year or so that has happened in this connection that has caused the disconnect of moving away okay but this person has a lot of love for you what is the possible outcome here for virgo and this person hmm. Somebody's coming out of stagnation. Somebody's coming out of this hangman mode. Why? Because they're ready to balance the situation out. They're ready for a reconciliation. So I feel that you guys might have been already separated for a while now. And somebody's releasing themselves from that, from that, from that um hangman mode. Okay, they there's still some healing that has to occur here. There's still some healing that has to commence here. With this four of swords in the reverse, both of you guys have already pulled back and tried to rest and rejuvenate. And I feel that you guys are starting to come out of that with a new a new feeling and love. Your heart is full of love towards this person. Even though there was a lot of problems here with the ten of, ten of swords in the past. But you both are willing to put the work in this connection. This person definitely wants a new beginning and so do you. This person recognizes and realizes that you have walked away from this connection. But this person is willing to come back balance this connection out and get out of this stagnation mode to put the work into this connection all right guys i hope this resonates for you please don't forget to like share subscribe see you in the next one bye